Sarah Like Puny Allen is another great Two and a Half Men episode. This is the 13th episode of the first season. It's directed by Robert Berlinger. And the only thing that's missing is Berta. She's not in this episode, but everything else is great. It starts off with Charlie telling Jake a bunch of really corny jokes. And he's really kind of excited about the fact that Jake is a a clean slate for jokes. He's not heard of most of the classics. And I rather enjoyed that. I thought it was a very well-written episode in every regard, but particularly with a lot of the very, very cheesy jokes. But some of them were actually pretty decent. Then we have the main narrative kicking in with the fact that Jake is coming down with something and Charlie is sharing food with Jake. Alan says, don't share food. You might catch something. And then one of them gets sick. And from now, I will just discuss things with a spoiler warning and go into a bit of detail about things that I I really enjoyed. It's also a disgusting episode because of how effective it is. So that spoilers from now and the reason it's so disgusting to watch is or I guess listen to is because of the sounds of sickly Alan to begin with and then we bring in Charlie and the sounds are just so revolting because they're so realistic one moment in particular made me want to throw up and it's the scene when they're in the steam room and Alan hocks up goodness knows what and just the sound he makes is so disgusting. But that's that's a good thing. The episode's really realistic. I genuinely believe they were ill to the point where if they told me the actors were actually ill when filming, it wouldn't surprise me. They look sweaty and sickly and it makes me feel it makes me feel ill. But it's very, very effective. And it's not just the fact that they're ill, they're actually getting ready to go on a double date. Charlie's trying to convince Alan to go on this double date and obviously Alan's really sick. He definitely doesn't want to go, shouldn't be going. And then when Charlie comes down with a sickness, both of them are determined to go on these dates. And it's, it's it, well, I really like the way it played out. We have a particularly nice moment where they're both discussing their current careers and how neither of them are living the dream they wish they had. And I think that that really helps to put things into perspective about how you know, we, we see Charlie as having this big house and a lot of money and Alan is going through a divorce. He's got to pay Alan money and is not financially as secure as Charlie. But for us to learn that neither of them is where they want to be, it helps to show that actually what may appear on the outside is different to what actually connects us. And, and I think that that was a, a really great discussion and very well written. We have uh, some brief involvement with uh, their mother, with Evelyn and her interactions with Rose were brilliant. I think Rose and Evelyn get along really well. I think they're quite similar in a lot of ways and mostly with their treatment of Charlie. Even though they technically have opposing treatments of Charlie, Evelyn seems to not care and Rose is obsessed. In in some ways that kind of bonds the two women and I and I really enjoy watching them interact with each other. It's a really great episode. We have a lot of comedy from Jake. And interestingly, Jake doesn't seem to be that sick, even though he was coming down with something. But certainly, Charlie and Alan, just just the sounds they make, it's disgusting. But it's so realistic and so effective. And I have nothing but praise for the episode. Definitely a very well-written episode. Very funny. Brilliant sound effects, but disgusting at the same time. Sarah, like Puny Alan, is definitely a very well-done episode. 